Mini game! Move the character portraits into the correct slots. Use the colors and text to determine which portrait goes where, then click to move them into place. However, you can only move portraits between frames connected by a chain. Alright, so we're back for more Gatsby, and uh, yeah, you might have seen that the um, uh, points didn't really match there in the beginning, and that's because I was continuing playing, and then I paused, and then I suddenly realized that, whoopsie, um, I didn't unpause. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was fun. You know? Uh, hmm? So now I have to replay a bit, but I replayed from the beginning, so I just got all the points and I haven't b bought anything, so we'll have to rebuy everything in the library. But I do know where some of the letters now are in the future. <laughs> Alright, find 14 days of week. I began to like New York, the racy, adventurous feel of it at night, and the satisfaction that the constant flicker of men and women and machines gives to the restless eye. On Sunday morning, while church bells rang in the villages along the shore, the world and its mistress returned to Gatsby's house and twinkled hilariously on his lawn. Alright, we got all the- okay, Sunday morning at Gatsby's, another lavish event. Hmm, maybe I didn't drag the voices down enough. Okay, there. Had to re redo all the- all the, um, yeah, all the sound thingies, so yeah. I don't know how the audio- not that the audio level was good before, but yeah. <clears throat> this is summer. Let's see, where was the E? a man who had found out that he was nephew to Van Hindenburg and second cousin to the devil. <laughs> Reach me a rosé, honey, and pour me a last drop into that there crystal glass. Well, yeah, people, s there are a lot of rumors about Gatsby. Um, yeah, the, in the book they talk about a couple more rumors. Because, you know, they have space for that and stuff, but here they seem to just talk about the rumor about him killing someone. I also forgot to say that um, when uh, Tom and Myrtle are in New York and having their party and stuff, uh, except for the fact that he broke Myrtle's nose, there is also... Uh, they also talk about that Mer or Myrtle buys a dog, uh, a puppy, from a man in the street on the way up to the apartment. And, uh, yeah, she just wants a dog, and then she, you know, she's like, a, she's like a child. She just wants a dog when she sees it, and Tom buys it for her, and then she kind of doesn't really care about it anymore. Sort of showing again the, the thing about, I guess, rich people not really taking, um, dealing with the consequences of their actions. Not that she's a rich person, but that money can make you like that. 
I'm looking for a salt cellar, whatever that is. A pitcher. And a napkin ring. Not really sure what napkin rings look like. But, uh, yeah. Uh. What I say, salt cellar. That. Right, napkin ring. I haven't hinted until now. Oh, it was on. Okay, fine. I actually haven't hinted through the entire game until now. So we actually have 43,000 points, so let's go buy stuff. Yeah, I haven't really been here before, so we'll just buy back everything I bought before. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I probably bought stuff when I thought I was recording, but wasn't. So I'll just buy everything I remember having. Yeah, I think that's the trophies. The, the last time the trophies you had, they actually dis actually disappeared from this list. So this is interesting, but okay. Let's continue. Outside your bungalow, another invitation. Let's get all the letters for proposition, I think the word was. Uh, let's see if I can remember where all the letters were. Book, so I don't forget that. Proposition. And another. Oh, there it was. Yeah. Alright, frog handkerchief. Bye. You're having lunch with me today, and I thought we'd ride up together. Oh, I am? <laughs> um, I guess I am. I'm going to make a big request of you today. You'll hear about it this afternoon. Okay. You can't just ask me now? I guess not. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously playing Nick again. I don't know what happens if you play any of the others. But we're gonna find that out together. Handbag. Uh, I bought one bouquet. Oh, there you are. Okay. Sasha's here. Um, bouquet there. Oh, rope too. Already forgot about that. Uh, I don't think this is rope. Oh, it was. Okay, never mind. There we go. We earned 31,250 points. Our current score is 39,250. And the secret word was proposition. Oh yeah, in this scene, hidden objects can be found inside and outside the car. So look carefully. Don't worry if you pass an item on the road, though. It will come back around again eventually. This is super cool. So we can actually pass items. Um, and then they will go... They will um, just go round and round and round until you get all the items. Which is awesome. I happen to find out that you're taking Miss Baker to tea. Do you mean you're in love with Miss Baker? <laughs> no, old sport, I'm not. But Miss Baker has kindly consented to speak to you about this matter. Let's see, oh, swing. I know where swing is. Uh, mailbox. Oh no, we passed the mailbox. Okay, yeah, there's a dog here too, and a mailbox, um, the gas pump is outside, swing is outside, tire is outside, and I don't know where the arrow is, it might be outside, so to speak, outside the car, swing, it says, uh, sorry, I should have shown it, but it says swing on that, um, here it says Merry Christmas, it says swing there, on that uh, sign. We need dog, gas pump, and arrow. So there is a doggy here somewhere. 
doggy, doggy. Come on, doggy, and the arrow wherever it is. The funny thing here is that if you hint, they will actually stop the car. And if they can't see the item, they're gonna be like, ah, it's not here. If I do this, they stop the car. Oh, I see, cool. And they stopped the car for the hint. And now they stopped again. All right, old sport. Right you are. Know you next time, Mr. Gatsby. Excuse me. What was that? I was able to do the commissioner a favor once, and he sends me a Christmas card every year. <laughs> All right. 29,750, we earned um, that. We have 69,000 score, uh, score, what am I saying? Points. And the secret word was privilege. I, a Manhattan restaurant, an odd colleague of Gatsby's. Mr. Carraway, this is my friend, Mr. Wolfsheim. I understand you're looking for a business connection. Oh, no, this isn't the man. No. Greed. This is just a friend. I told you we'd talk about that some other time. I beg your pardon, I had a wrong man. He has to telephone. Fine fellow, isn't he? Handsome to look at and a perfect gentleman. Yes. I guess. I've enjoyed my lunch and I'm going to run off from you two young men before I outstay my welcome. Okay. Who is he anyhow? An actor? Meyer Wolfsheim? No. He's a gambler. He's the man who fixed the World Series back in 1919. Why isn't he in jail? They can't get him, old sport. He's a smart man. An interesting meeting, I guess. We earned 57,750 points. We now have 126,750 points, and the secret word was greed. Find 10 clocks. One October day in 1917, said Jordan Baker that afternoon, sitting up very straight on a straight chair in the tea garden at the Plaza Hotel. I was walking to Daisy Fay's house, by far the most popular of all the young girls in Louisville. She was sitting with a lieutenant I had never seen before. The officer looked at Daisy while she was speaking in a way that every young girl wants to be looked at sometime. His name was Jay Gatsby, and I didn't lay eyes on him again for over four years. Even after I'd met him on Long Island, I didn't realize it was the same man. By the next year, her mother found her packing her bag one winter night to go to New York and say goodbye to a soldier who was going overseas. She was prevented, but she wasn't on speaking terms with her family for weeks. In June, she married Tom Buchanan of Chicago. I came into her room half an hour before the bridal dinner and found her lying on her bed as drunk as a monkey. She had a bottle in one hand and a letter in the other. Tell them all Daisy's changed her mind. Say, Daisy's changed her mind. She cried and cried. We gave her spirits of ammonia and put ice on her forehead and hooked her back into her dress. Next day at five o'clock, she married Tom Buchanan without so much as a shiver and started off on a three months trip to the South Seas. Yeah, so that's a little background story on uh, Daisy and Gatsby. Outside your bungalow, learning more about the past. I'm wondering if the voices are still a little loud sometimes, but meh, we'll see. All right, so what is this word? I don't remember what it was. Whoa. Come on. Planning. That's it. It was planning. And it's a red book this time. There we go. Uh, 
About six weeks ago, she heard the name Gatsby for the first time in years. It wasn't until then that I connected this Gatsby with the officer in her white car. It was a strange coincidence. But it wasn't a coincidence at all. Gatsby bought that house so that Daisy would be just across the bay. He wants to know if you'll invite Daisy to your house some afternoon and then let him come over. Why didn't he ask you to arrange a meeting? He wants her to see his house. And your house is right next door. Does she want to see Gatsby? She's not to know about it. Gatsby doesn't want her to know. You're just supposed to invite her to tea. <laughs> okay. That doesn't seem weird or anything? No, 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 no. Or like, unnecessary amount of job, I guess. <laughs> or work, rather. Um, where is- oh, there's the butterfly. Yeah, now I remember. Now, what is this club all about? Oh, there. There we go. We earned 35,500 points. We have 172,250 points right now. And the secret word was planning. Preparing your living room for a fateful tea. Since we are still playing as Nick. Uh, let's see, where was the book? There. Reunion. Alright, so we have... Card. I don't know exactly what a terrine is, but I'm sure it's gonna be totally okay. Um, Klaxon. Dice. Mm, comb. Mirror. Fan. Whoops. Gatsby sent over five bouquets. Find the right boss for each bouquet and drag the flowers into place. They want to match in colors. Where's the last bouquet? Oh, there. There we go. And then we're back to the naughty scene. <laughs> Nobody's coming to tea. It's too late. Don't be silly. It's just two minutes to four. Oh yeah, I think Daisy's a bit um, late or something like that. Prepare and pour tea for two. You'll need water, a kettle, tea, and a teapot. Time to heat the water. Now then, where's the tea? Oh there! Oh wow! They 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 actually moved the tea because the tea was here when I did this the first time. Interesting. Pouring the tea. Pouring out the tea, maybe. There we go, back to the Hynoptic team. <laughs> Open mail. Are you in love with me? Or why did I have to come alone? Um... I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> I certainly am awfully glad to see you again. We haven't met for many years. Five years next November. I'll be back. Yeah. Um, Nick definitely leaves them in that room together. Now a terrine is something you can have stuff in like that. Exactly. Now a klaxon I'm very much less sure about. But apparently it's one of those. Cool. We earned 29,250 points, and we now have 201,500 points for our library. Secret word is reunion. Outside your bungalow while Daisy and Gatsby talk. I... Don't remember this. Or maybe I... No, wait. Yeah, I was probably here before too, I just... I don't know. I might recognize the word. I can't recognize the rain. That's so weird because I'm pretty sure I played past this. Hmm. Interesting. 
Anyways, um, let's see if we can find the rest of the letters. Maybe somewhere-ish? Kind of? Nope. Um, like, I can see there are three more letters. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Or not. Interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Umbrella. Moon and pineapple. Uh, the ribbon and the cat basket. What do you think of that? It stopped raining. No, I've not seen this. I'm glad, Jay. I've not seen this. I want you and Daisy to come over to my house. That huge place there? Do you like it? I love it, but I don't see how you live there all alone. I keep it always full of interesting people. Night and day. I probably realized somewhere along the lines here that... <gasps> no, I probably realized before between the T and this that um, I had uh, not resumed recording. <laughs> That's why I don't recognize this. Cool. Um, nest. Now we're gonna go to Gatsby's house, which is Gatsby. Well, and Daisy, but we get the point. Uh, sparks, maybe? I don't know. Fern. Birdhouse. Uh, where are my letters? Why am I blind? Oh, there. Wow, that's so small. Yeah, sparks. Okay. Headdress. Oh, the pineapple is still here somewhere. Pineapple, where are you? Right there. Thank you. Um... Mm, snake, grapes, fern. Wow, some of these things are really small. <laughs> Wing tip. Huh. Oh, that's the headdress. It's a snake. And we have the fern and the wingtip left, and I have to remember to get that last letter. I can't guess the word, of course. It's probably sparks. But I want to find... My... items. Which I am not doing. Okay, let's uh, hint something. There. Oh, fern. Wow, I was thinking about a Christmas tree. <sighs> Fur, not fern. Oh. Sparks. Let's see where the S was. Oh, right there? Wow, okay. Well, it was sparks, so we can... Oh, that's called a wingtip? Yeah, I would not have gotten that. Okay, so we earned 26,000 points on that hen object scene. We now have 227,500 points, and the secret word was sparks. And this is where we're going to take a break and we'll be back for more Gatsby, uh, you know, later. And I'll remember to re actually record everything I do, which will um, be, uh, be, be helpful. So yeah, see ya.